is Eyewitness News at 7 p.m. on KLC TV. We have California's recall election now less than a month away. Governor Newsom and those looking to unseat him hit the campaign trail. Plus, thousands of LAUSD students are just hours away from their first day of school tomorrow. We're tracking the changes that they'll face, including mandatory COVID-19 testing. And thousands more U.S. troops headed to Afghanistan as Americans and their allies flee the country. We have the latest on the Taliban's takeover. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Land. I'm Veronica Maripol. Welcome to Eyewitness News on KDOC TV. Let's get to the coronavirus pandemic to start. The numbers just keep rising. Today, LA County reporting more than 3,300 new cases and eight more people have died. Of course, those numbers may be lower because of the weekend lag. More than 1,600 people currently hospitalized in LA County with COVID. The U.S. may reach a decision within weeks over whether to offer booster shots to Americans this coming fall. If a booster shot were to be introduced, health care workers, nursing home residents, and other older Americans would be among the first to receive them since they were the first to receive them the first time around. Cases here so far still indicate that the vaccinated mm -hmm. do remain highly protected, including against the Delta variant. But Dr. Anthony Fauci says they are now studying data daily to see if anything changes. If it turns